What the hell happened here? Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck? Caitlin, this place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing. The most responsible thing is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. I am uh, so, so sorry. I didn't know it was blind. you. I was really Dylan. scared, and I thought, it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Uh, Dylan, <laughs> you're, uh... So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Dylan! Come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck.
What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Jeez, poor kid, head this big. Who's Bobby? Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, it's Kaylee. She's dead. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? <laughs> Laura, what have you done? that she doesn't bite her beauty is inside her that's why I need to find the key tonight when I say yes you say no Welcome.
Did you miss me? Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, stricter, is designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rock. Details. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Nobody's ever gonna treat me the same, are they? Some people won't, but fuck them. Would you date a guy with one hand? I don't think it's me you're concerned about, is it? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident, and heroic, with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Relax, it's motion sensor. We're okay, I think. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way.
So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> well, come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it. <gasps> Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch. Run your fucking head up. Ah, bitch. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! Everybody, stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh. Wake up. Wake up. Darling. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cool. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis.
I'm close. Stand by. Over.
There are bears around here? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But our sure to hell can make you suffer. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, come, come on, man. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <sighs> Leave me alone. <sighs> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! Hey, 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 it's me, it's me. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah, yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friends, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Fuck. We gotta go. What? Uh, 
You got it. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Problem. Oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on, let's go.
taking brines, okay? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, no. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah. Sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Back grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit, okay. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. 
We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Watch your step. Yep. What was that?
Yeah. Likewise. So... What now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let at him go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense, yeah. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. 
Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. And can someone please get me some fucking clothes? your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? The sun the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? One last time. Go back. Go back and end this.
should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point.
Nice to put a name to a big, mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Hmm. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Maybe I should keep looking. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. We eat him here? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. this trail cam footage it's like they're looking for something yeah uh, in Chris's surveillance room he's storing all the footage I think you might be right I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, RIP megaphone. Where have I seen this emblem before? What is it? A ring, with a crest on it. Ah, oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off.
Jeez, MC really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Life. That mates for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout it stroud and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers. Sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the?
letter in. Oh, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> Get down! 
Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Fucking do this. Go team. has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. 
We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that.
I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tr I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. But it rings, and I ran.
we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes. you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can't. What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was Drowned. Okay. Well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay. Okay. I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there. But yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy. A cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though? 
I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're gonna present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay, that's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm, yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you're just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. 
Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... Say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't... I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? there's something else too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to I, explain I don't know that... what's that thing. There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people, there, there's, Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks you can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to... I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me... No! I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. Wow, what an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? 
It was just a prank, Anton. Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin? Fur? Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right. I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. You're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real. Occam's razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So, what we've got here? This could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <sighs> Do you believe it? All of it. No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We ha Actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more. Ass. What I found.